Growing up, we always thought my dad was the one with the music ability. They bought an organ for us kids, even though nobody ever asked for one. And um, I remember him sitting down and just playing one day, just sitting and playing the organ. And we all just kind of thought, well, that's weird. But that was the first and last time he ever played. And then I just noticed that um, I liked the piano, and we had friends who had pianos, and I would just go to their house and I would just sit down and play. I was probably about six or seven years old. Um, I got pretty serious about it around nine. I started writing songs with lyrics and singing and um, recording with a little cassette deck. I am primarily self-taught. When, um, when I was around nine, we had an organ teacher who was frustrated with me because my sister would read the music and she would learn the piece and then I would hear it and then I would memorize it and then the teacher would come and I would play it and she would say, you're not reading the music. And, and it was back in the day where they really didn't encourage playing by ear. So mm -hmm. she left after about six months. But then um, I decided to major in music in college just so that I could learn the names of the things that I could just do by ear so that I could speak the language better. Actually, my creative process started in a very specific way and really hasn't changed. Um, I had original bands that I was in. Um, we would do some of my original songs and some of the other band members. But because I always started from the studio first, I had all the parts arranged for everybody. I told the guitar player what he was playing, I told the bass player, the drummer, everything. And it was also the reason why I learned how to play those instruments so that I could speak to them. Um, so I was always the micromanager producer person from the start. So all that's done is just gotten way more honed and way more controlling. <laughs> I think that um, sadness, you know, broken hearts and stuff are usually, you know, what the inspiration for any song, songwriters, you know, so. So, you know, you just start with that and you tell your story and you hope that the story you're telling is something that somebody else has gone through and they can relate to. This would be sad. Well, sad and beautiful to me are a fine line. So that particular song was about a love that could never be, um, a happy one. Um. And that's more about uh, finding the right person to go through life with. Um, my writing usually begins from the music place first, and it's about sitting down and playing a chord progression, something that just sounds, I can hear it in my head. Um, a lot of my songs have started out that way, and I've got incredible co-writers. Most of my stuff has started out as an instrumental. I understand the piano, and I, it's a visual thing to me. Even a guitar is not as visual. You can't see the keys on a guitar like you can on a piano. So I just really connect with it, and, and it's my favorite instrument. And yeah, it, it is huge, but you know, fortunately they make little small portable ones too. <laughs> but they don't sound the same. There is something about the real, you know, grand piano that is, um, it's got more nuance, more, it's emotion. I, I can't explain it, but it, I prefer to play this than an electronic one.